Electricity bills keep rising. Literally, my mom's electricity bill last month, $540. Probably because she keeps running her two ACs 24 seven. So I installed this to save some money. Actually, technically, I mean, this is worth like $6,000. And then the installation was like 2K, so like 9K. God, I hope this thing works. EcoFlow just released the brand new Delta Pro Ultra X and Smart Home Panel 3. And I'm testing both of them in my house to see if it's better than a Tesla Powerwall. I'm also curious to see how long it'll take to install because from start to finish, my Tesla Powerwalls and solar took a few months to complete. Now, if you stumbled onto this video, you don't know what Powerwalls are. A Tesla Powerwall and this is pretty much giant batteries for your home. They turn on if there's a blackout and there's no power from the grid. They also turn on during expensive peak times, usually 4 to 9 p.m. with your utility provider. Unfortunately though, it's not as easy as just plugging it into a wall and you're done. But more on that in a second. This is the all new Delta Pro Ultra X. Each inverter delivers 12 kilowatts of output, expandable up to 36 kilowatts, with battery storage from 12 kilowatt hours up to a whopping 180 kilowatt hours. Completely redesigned, they updated it, they made it so much more better, so much more efficient. One of these inverters can hold one, two, 10 batteries. And that is insane. It's also cool because it's movable. You can move it on wheels if you wanted to. If you let's say need to charge an EV and it's far away, you can go ahead and NEMA 1450 outlet, what? They also have a NEMA 1430 outlet and two regular 120 volt outlets. You also get a nice screen that shows you data. You have an LED bar here and here as well as here. And it's just nice to see, gives you more info if you ever needed it. It can run your entire home, even a five ton AC unit, heat pumps and EV chargers without needing anything extra. However, most of the info is located on the app. And then there's this. This is sexy. Ba-boom! The cool thing with this one, and I'll talk about this part when I talk to the electricians in a second, because according to the electrician who is a professional, his words, this thing is badass. So it's oh, very, cool. this system is very versatile. I like it. But it holds up to 32 breakers, which is awesome because you can actually have a legit whole home backup with this smart home panel three. And the switch over is 20 milliseconds, so you won't even notice when the grid drops. It also connects to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you have all the info on your app. And everything is just so streamlined. The beauty is this piece here can be moved anywhere. So let's say if you have this here, but you want to move your batteries somewhere else, you can just run some conduit and move this anywhere because these three plugs are for these. Technically, if I have 10 batteries here with one inverter, I can have two more spaces for two more inverters, giving me a total of 30 batteries. Yes, that's right. Now, one thing, the crazy thing and what makes it so unique and different from say like a Tesla Powerwall, is the Tesla Powerwall is mounted permanently onto your wall. And if you wanna add more, you need to go through Tesla or go through an electrician and they have to install it themselves. The beauty with this is once you install the brains, because an electrician does have to install the Smart Home Panel 3, you can buy everything else yourself and modular add pieces one by one. So if you look right here, by the way, don't try this at home. It is very, very heavy. This is like over 110 pounds. Lightweight! But you can lift this up, move it around, add more batteries. It's stackable, scalable, awesome. If you look over here, we have all these for power. Now, one of these batteries isn't on right now. I haven't connected it. So right now it's only connecting one battery, but it uses these cables here. They set it up all in the app. It's super awesome and it does a good job. Another cool thing is it also supports solar. So you can do the solar where you just leave it outside somewhere. You can connect it with these plugs here. So it supports solar, it's all in the app as well. You can charge using solar only, which is awesome. EcoFlow also says you can get a return on your investment in as little as three years with a savings up to $6,000 per year on electricity costs by combining solar AI optimization with that smart circuit control, which is actually two thirds faster than the payback period for a Tesla Powerwall. So while adding all these batteries and inverters is legit plug and play, Installing it is another part. So 
let's go to the installation. You still need to hire an electrician to do the hard work because I'm everyday Chris, not everyday electrician that's gonna kill himself touching a hot wire. So I called in the pros, but not just any pro, the same people that did my Cybertruck PowerShare installation, Trout Electric. I also asked them to install a NEMA 1450 for me so I can charge my Tesla. I was also curious with some questions because you know, I'm an everyday guy. How do you know if the home is too old for the wiring, if we need to get new wiring, all that stuff, because we're doing like a whole, this is like 2025 whole home backup system with like these cool new batteries. So one of the things we look for is like damage wiring, signs of overheating. As long as we have good wiring here at the panel, yeah. no overheating, no damage, panel's not damaged, then generally we're good to install as long as we're gonna install the system sized appropriately to back up everything. Now with my Cybertruck PowerShare installation, it's like critical home loads only. Cause I know the EcoFlow has like this huge sub panel with like so many like breakers and stuff. How do you know whether to do whole home backups versus the critical load stuff? Really it would depend on our customer's backup goals. So like the system you've chosen is scalable. You can go a whole home backup if you size it large enough or if you want to start small and you can support almost your entire house and grow later. So on Cybertruck, your supply is fixed, 48 amps and that's it. With EcoFlow, you can grow, it's nice. And so things like LRA rating is static with Cybertruck versus with EcoFlow. If you add another inverter, then you can handle more ACs and more loads, so. Nice. So can we, can we quickly run down like what's going on? Like what are we backing up here for this home? So we're gonna go ahead and back up everything except for one of the ACs. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going through labeling all the circuits so that way we can maintain all of our labeling when we transfer it over so that way there's not a mystery if like we have a trip breaker or something like that. And once we do, we're going to construct raceway, hang the panel and start sending our wires over. It's a tedious process, a lot of steps. So we use uh, a, a, a cutting tool and we yeah. make a hole here and then we're going to make our raceway to the other side. So it's oh, very, cool. this system is very versatile. I like it. If we wanted to add solar in the future, mm -hmm. I saw like some sort of, they have like a solar box thing. Is it like hard to do? Would you have to wait till someone installs solar first and then they have to install it all together? So you can install this guy here and then later on you would be able to just add. This is like a legit system then, huh? It's very cool. Uh, it's, this one is the newest version. I yeah. have not installed this exact version yet. Yeah. So I'm excited to learn more about it too. This is the largest one that I've seen so far. The ones that our customers have had us install, still scalable, yeah. but it's a 125 capability only. Uh -huh. um, 100 amp crude feed, stuff like that. This one is, is huge, I love it. In total, it took almost seven hours to do this entire installation, to back up everything. They did a great job. I'm super happy with the results. But now we can test out to see if it actually works. But before we get to that, let's totally talk about some of the super cool stuff. Once you set up the app, everything kind of comes to life. It shows you your home, it shows you if you're pulling from the grid, your battery percentage. It also shows you how much energy you're consuming. And when you scroll down, it gives you more data, like what's your energy independence, what's the percentage, what's the battery state of charge, if you generate any solar, grid usage and consumption. Very, very similar to the Tesla app, which is a good thing. Not only that, the app has more super cool features like the ability to manually turn off outlets one by one if you wanted to. So if I want to turn off the garage door, I could just power that off if I wanted to. Not sure why I would need to do that, but it is a nice feature to have, especially because this controls all that as well. And just like Tesla's, you can control if you have your utility provider, like SCE, expensive rates are between four to nine. It was a little annoying to do, so I just ended up manually inputting everything myself, which makes it much easier. But if you wanted to, you could just create a schedule so that this powers your house between the expensive rates, four to 9 p.m. as well, and charges it back up on the off rates. And that's the cool thing. You don't need solar to utilize this system. As long as you have this battery pack, it's gonna use the battery pack to run your house between four to 9 p.m. That way it's saving you the most money and you're not pulling from the grid during expensive times. Another cool thing is circuit priority. Because we have a whole home backup, we can actually customize which circuits we wanna have if there is a power outage. And then there's another one that's nice to have. So it'll try to turn those on after it makes sure to turn on the circuits we need to have. That's super cool. You have a lot of customization options, a little bit more than actually a Tesla app. You also have storm guard, which is great, which knows if a storm is coming in your area and it'll manually charge the batteries to 100% just in case. There's a super cool EPS mode, which turns on 
the system quicker 20 millisecond turn on time and that's only available with the delta pro ultra x the app also extends runtime by up to 42 percent by shutting off non-essentials automatically and it can also integrate with ecoflow's power insight 2 and third-party smart devices for voice control and automation so once the power actually goes out this is what happens system is set up let's see what happens when we turn the breaker off to simulate a power outage. Okay, we're gonna turn the power off in three, two. Grid is red. Oh, looks like it's working. Output, clicking. Seven hours and 50 minutes. It looks like it's supplying power to here. And is the electricity back on? It's on. Is the power on? Let's see. Yes, it is. Yeah. It works. It looks like it's working. It says grid outage, battery time remaining seven hours and 30 minutes, 89% discharging. And it's actually showing that I have one day and 23 hours. And that's with one battery. And then it has these circuit priorities here, which is awesome. So it's backing up all this stuff. And you can see that it's outputting 189 watts. Nice, works. And then we're gonna turn the AC and see what happens. So right now the AC kicked on, you could hear it. We're consuming 3.88 kilowatts on here and it still works fine, still discharging. Right now it says one hour, one hour and 31 minutes of battery time remaining because we're using the AC. That's crazy. So yes, it definitely works even with the AC on. But with one of the batteries at 90%, we have an hour and 29 minutes remaining of battery time. 3,000 watts. So definitely consuming a lot more because the AC is on. But I'm glad it still works. They're also constantly pushing firmware updates to the EcoFlow, making it better with time. But one huge thing that makes the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra X a long name better than a tesla powerwall is the fact that let's say there's an apocalypse right electricity's out for months sure you have solar you can charge up the batteries all that good stuff but it's not enough what if i have a gas generator just need some fuel what am i going to do then you can actually use a gas generator to charge the batteries you need an adapter but it is possible and that's super cool. It's something you can't do in a Tesla Powerwall. Another thing, while all these do weigh a ton, you still can technically get in another adapter, go to a level two EV charging station and charge the batteries that way. That's what I like. You can have multiple ways to charge the battery power pack aside from only two, which is the sun or the grid. Overall, the app is great. So much power comes out of these batteries. I'm able to run my AC while I'm on backup power, which is something that's very hard to do with these type of batteries, but you could definitely do it with this. You also have the ability to customize how much backup reserve you want and how much you want to use for daily use, which is a nice feature. I've tested other companies before. This is the most similar to the Tesla app that I've seen, and that's a good thing. So when I talk about whole home backup, I legit mean whole home backup. Also, this house is like over 20 years old. So it's cool that I'm able to have this type of tech in a house this old. But we have like everything backed up. Our washer, trash compactor, dish disposal, dishwasher, convection oven, all the outlets, two ACs. The mom will be very happy for that. Random outlets here, garage door. I don't know what fireball is. And all these kitchen AC outlets. Trout also installed my NEMA 1450 plug so I can charge my EV even though there's a blackout. I mean, this holds so much power, it's awesome. The LFP battery is UL9540 certified, dual BMS monitoring, and is designed for extreme heat up to 122 degrees. And you're probably thinking, like what happens if I'm in cold climates? It's gonna ruin my degradation, it's gonna slow, no. This has a built-in heater. So what it's gonna do is it can precondition these LFP batteries so that it heats up. They said it takes about 10 minutes, heats up for optimal temperature so it can be ready to use at 4 p.m. or whenever you need to use it. 
a lot of cool tech. So while I love the Tesla Powerwalls, I love the Tesla integration, how you could charge your Tesla using the sun. And the beauty with the Delta Pro Ultra X, they also have an EV charger or you could just install an EV 1450 like I did and you can still control settings so you can charge not just a Tesla, but any EV like a Lucid Gravity. The Tesla Powerwalls are not cheap. I think one Tesla Powerwall is like $15,000. Yes, it holds around 13.5 kilowatt hours and it outputs 11.5 kilowatts. But if you wanted more Tesla Powerwalls, you have to get it professionally installed. But this thing, modular, it's designed to be added by you, the owner, by yourself if you wanted to. And it's still backs up your entire home. So being able to have all these batteries so that it can power your house during your expensive utility rates so you can run those two ACs and you can add more if you wanted to makes it actually better than a Tesla Powerwall.